Welcome to YesNetwork.com, joined by Gary Myers. I'm Kim Jones. Gary, a couple weeks ago, we sat in these comfy chairs and talked about an all-New York Super Bowl. What's going wrong? The Jets can't stop the run. The Giants beat the heck out of Tony Romo, and it didn't matter Sunday night. What do you do? You see common denominators in what's going on with the local teams? I hope a lot of people didn't play plane tickets to Tampa for that <laughs> Subway Super Bowl because it doesn't look like it's going to happen. You know, as far as like the Jets are concerned, now they make their fourth. West Coast trip of the season, 0-3, having already lost to the Chargers, the Raiders, and the 49ers. Those teams, if you take away those three victories, combined 11-28. and 28. There's no excuse for a team like the Jets in the stretch run, making a playoff run, to lose to a team like Seattle, which is 3-11 and 11 and has been ready to go home for months already. You know, Mike Holmgren finishing up his career as Seattle's coach, going against Brett Favre, an intriguing storyline. But, you know, the big thing here is now, you know, the Jets are in position if they win out which means beating Seattle and then beating Chad Pennington at home next week, they will win the AFC East, which accomplishes their goal. But if they don't stop the run, they're not going to win this division. I know Marshawn Lynch is a tough player, very tough player. He was very determined on Sunday, but they beat them up on the ground. They did. And you wonder, you know, just a few weeks ago, we were also talking about Chris Jenkins possibly being the MVP, the defensive MVP of the league, and, and now teams are gashing the, the Jets on the ground, and, and you, you wonder what's happened there. Jenkins beat himself up a couple weeks ago for the way he played against Denver, and I haven't seen a lot of improvement there, obviously, from the Jets' run defense. And, you know, they were very fortunate at the end of that game against Buffalo, fortunate? obviously. Yeah, I think I that's mean, it goes way for. beyond that. That was the most ludicrous play call I've seen in 30 years, going back to the fumble play between the, worst the, the in decades. Gi yeah, Giants and Eagles when Herm Edwards scored that touchdown against the uh, Giants when they should have just kneeled down and run out the clock. All right, we need to talk about the Giants, and they will have to deal with one of Jenkins' former teammates, and that is a resurgent Julius Peppers. John Fox has him playing his best football since when he was a very young player right. in this league. And that did, we talk a lot about the Giants' defensive line, and rightly so. But especially with a banged-up Giants offensive line, the Panthers could cause a lot of problems. You're right. I mean, McKenzie, uh, we don't know yet. Right. You know, Tom Coughlin doesn't know yet about his back and um, if he'll be able to play Sunday. And then you had Richie Soybert, who had the flu uh, and gets a lot of credit for playing as long as he did, feeling as bad as he did right. in that game in Dallas. But I think he'll be okay, you know, come the Panther game. The question is at right tackle. And, you know, can the, you know, the Giants have done a great job protecting Eli, except in the games against the Cowboys. Eli's been sacked 23 times in uh, 14 games, but in only two games against Dallas, he was sacked 12 times. So they're, they're doing a good job against everybody but Dallas. But you know that John Fox is looking for a way to get the heat on Eli. And looking for a way to run the ball against the Giants defense that almost has to pick some poison this week. Do you go after DeLome? Or do you really start to try to stop that, what, flash and dash? Do right. I have that right? Well, D'Angelo Williams and uh, Jonathan Stewart. But, you know, flash and dash. Flash, flash and, dash? and dash, I think it is. Right. you got Earth, Wind, and Fire, Flash and Dash, Thunder and Lightning. Everybody's got a nickname. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but I, I think the way to beat Carolina Sunday is, is getting some pressure on DeLone because I think he is prone to making mistakes mm -hmm. and throwing the ball to the other team, and that's where the Giants will win yeah. this game. Good thing we never make any mistakes here, right. Gary. And we need a nickname, by the way. And you need to keep turning to YesNetwork.com. We have original content all season long. Also catch This Week in Football on TV.